Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna go over the new storyboarding method that I came up with for my new animated short and I'm actually gonna use Blender for storyboarding, so stay tuned. So this is really cool. I don't I don't really like to draw so much. I'm not really good at drawing. So for me, storyboarding was always a bit of a challenge, especially for things like like perspective and composition. I just I I could never really get the most out of it when I was drawing. And I've managed to do it okay uh, so far with my previous two short films, but for this one, I've decided to try something new and storyboard the whole thing in Blender in a 3D program. And the reason I've, I've decided to do that is because Blender has this really cool uh, tool called the Grease Pencil, which allows you to draw on the screen. So, for example, I can just draw straight on the frame, but I can still create a 3D environment. Now, I'm not modeling everything with detail. I'm just using stuff like uh, cubes and balls and like very primitive basic shapes. So you can see for the city skyline here, I've just used a bunch of cubes and changed change the size of them. And this is supposed to be a line of people standing in line. So I just used um, a cylinder for that. And whenever I want to add details, I can just draw them straight on the frame. So I use the camera for the composition. And then I just draw whenever I want on the frame. So if we scrub through the, the frames that I've made so far, you can see if I want to uh, emphasize a camera movement, I can just draw an arrow. And this is a character over here that I've drawn. So you can see that, that I'm, I'm combining basic drawings onto the 3D environment and it helps me, it makes it so much easier to come up with the composition and the perspective. It, it saves it saves me the, the time of dealing with perspective and complex drawing. And instead I can just create some kind of basic scene move my camera around, find the composition that I like. This is uh, people standing in line with the skyline in the background. I can find um, the composition that, that, I, that I feel is, is working. And then I can just draw more details right on the screen. Then when I'm done, I can just export the sequence in frames and I'm gonna have all the drawings for my storyboard. Then I can bring them into After Effects and create an, an animatic from it, or just put them one next to each other to look at the storyboard as a whole. Now this could be great for you if uh, you're also not really into drawing. The tools that I'm using are very, very basic Blender tools. Really, there's, there's nothing that you need to know almost uh, to use this except for like how to create objects and a little bit of how to use the grease pencil. And Blender is a free software, so it's really, it, it's really the easiest way to get started. It's even, it's even cheaper than using Photoshop because Photoshop costs money. So I think it's a really cool solution for a lot of people. If you want to learn more about how to use Blender, uh, like all the basics, you're welcome to sign up for the Blender animation course. But even without that, I'm sure you can figure it out. It's, it's really easy and you get really cool results, as you can see in here. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and visit our website at bloopanimation.com.